Hello everyone, I'm Terry Duke and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Whether you are completely new to modding or just new to Bannerlord mods, this video is for you. We're going to be covering all the bases, from what tools are needed and how to install them, to how to manage mods and game versions. I've made chapters for this video, so feel free to skip to any part that's relevant to you. I will also be making videos on my favorite mods from Bannerlord in the future, so feel free to subscribe to learn more about all the awesome mods from this game, as well as mods from Warband, for which I've already made a whole bunch of videos you can check out. On to the guide. Naturally, you will need the game Bannerlord on Steam. Besides that, the only tool we actually need is WinRAR. WinRAR is a safe and free program that allows us to extract files because modders use WinRAR to compress mods into smaller folders. I left a link to it in the description. Once you click on the link, just click download right here. After it's downloaded, double click to open, click install. Once the loading is done, so are you. The most popular places to get Bannerlord mods right now is from nexusmods.com and moddb.com. To get mods on Nexus, you'll need to create an account, which is free. So head over to register and follow the process to create an account. When it's done, head back to Nexus Mods and on the home page, they show you the most modded games on the website and Bannerlord is right here, so click on it. You will be directed to the Nexus Mods homepage for Bannerlord. Scroll down a bit until you see this bar. From here, you can browse mods for Bannerlord based on certain categories, from latest of the day, the latest of the week, the most popular mods of the past month, or since Bannerlord was released. So feel free to explore. When you see a mod that seems interesting to you, just click on it to open its page. When you do, you will be on the description page. Here, the mod tells you what it's all about and there's photo previews at the top. Often the modders will specify how to install the mod in the description as some of them need to be done in a specific way, so just follow the instructions. Under requirements, sometimes there are mods that require other mods to function properly. This area will indicate if that's the case. You will need to download the other mods required for the mod you like to work properly. To download the mod, head over to Files right here. Under Main Files, you will have the option to either download with the Mod Manager or do it manually. The Mod Manager is a program supplied by Nexus Mods called Vortex. For some games, it's pretty useful, but some others have pointed out technical issues for Bannerlord specifically, so we're gonna stick to manual download. On the download page, you can either download slow or fast. Fast though is only acceptable if you have a premium account with Nexus Mods. Don't worry about it though, as most mods are pretty light and so will download quickly even with the slow option. When you click download, the mod will start downloading onto your computer. ModDB is also a good place to get mods as it doesn't require an account. Once you're on the website, just head to the search bar, search Bannerlord, and on the game page, just hit the mods tab. Similar to Nexus, when you click on the mod, it brings you to its page, you have previews, a description, and under files tab, you can get the mod. The latest version is always at the top, so click it, then click download. A pop-up window will appear, wait a few seconds, and the download will start. By now, whether you got the mod from Nexus Mods or ModDB, at this point you have a compressed file downloaded to your computer and the following steps will be the same. If you installed WinRAR, the WinRAR logo will appear on the file. By double-clicking it, WinRAR will open and show you the contents of the compressed file, which is the mod itself. Now to install the mod, you have to take every folder that appears at the first level and transfer them inside the game's folder. To access the game's folder, head over to Steam, find Bannerlord and right-click on it. Then Properties. In Properties, check Local Files, then Browse. This will open the folder in which all the elements for the game are installed on your computer. Mods go into the Modules folder, so open it. From WinRAR to Modules, drop all the folders at the first level into Modules. WinRAR will then decompress the files and copy them to Modules. And in theory, you're done. Launch Bannerlord on Steam and in the Launcher, click on the Mods tab right here. From there you can see all of the mods that are in the Modules folder. So to activate a mod, just check the box. Then launch the game. Simple as that. Unfortunately, it's rarely that simple. If you have crashes while using mods, it's most likely one of two explanations. Either the load order is wrong, or the mod itself is no longer compatible with the game. For this section of the video, I'm going more into the technical stuff. Something that happens in a lot of modded games is what we call a mod conflict. Generally, games load their features in a specific order, you know, textures, sounds, skins, stuff like that. And what can happen is if you have a mod that changes the textures, for example, but the game is in the process of loading something else, this can cause the mod to either be ignored or cause the game to crash. 
Generally, in the description of the mod, you will often see a screenshot or some indication on what order the mod should be loaded in. So in the launcher, in the mods tab, you can actually drag mods up and down to decide in which order they load. Just follow the mods instruction and it should work. Harmony, for example, is a mod meant to help load other mods properly, and the modder indicated that it should be the first mod to load, so that's why I put it in the load order. If you're new to Bannerlord and mods, as of the summer of 2022, there's been a recurring problem with the game since the release, and the problem is that the game is in early access. If you're not familiar with the term, it means the developers released the game incomplete and proceeded to update it over time. Because of that, in contrast with Warband, which has a huge modding community even 12 years after its release, the mods for Bannerlord are very limited. That's because as Bannerlord gets updates and patches, mods become incompatible. So modders can either update their mods to be compatible again every time there's an update, or they can wait until the game reaches a more stable state. Most modders went with the latter. So to see if a mod is compatible, launch Bannerlord and you can see the game version right here. Then check on the mod page to find the version it's compatible with. If it is compatible, you should not have any issues. If there is a mod you really want to play but it's no longer compatible, you can change the version of Bannerlord on Steam. Right click on the game, then select Properties. In the Beta tab, you can see all the versions of Bannerlord. Select the one that is compatible with the mod and you should be good to go. Before you do, however, know that there is a really annoying con to this. When you change versions, Steam has to download and install said version. It can be very annoying, especially if you have lots of different mods on different versions. There is a method to, in theory, keep several versions of the same game on your computer, but that will be another video for another time, as it's quite complex and with this current tutorial, you should be able to install and play mods regardless. Anyway, thank you for watching! If the video was helpful to you, you can show some appreciation with a like and subscribe so I can eventually make YouTube my actual job. In the next few weeks, I'll be sharing my favorite mods of Bannerlord on my channel, so hopefully I will see you then.